Hey guys, and welcome to our review of Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, directed by Secrets. David Yates, uh, screenplay by J.K. Rowling and, and Steve uh, Cloves. And this is uh, the third film in what was always intended to be at least a trilogy. But as Joe has pointed out to me, he looked it up, uh, there's supposedly five, five of these. Um, this was announced going in 2016, then she said it would be composed of five films. I'm not sure we need five after uh, watching this. And as of February 2022, producer David Heyman revealed that work on the scripts for Fantastic Beasts 4 had not begun yet. Um, and honestly, I don't really I, see where they go after this one. I think uh, this one kind of completes this That's rather ho-hum kind of boring uh, story to me. Um, the whole character of uh, Newt. Oh, <laughs> I Newt. still don't even remember. Yeah. Newt. I like uh, Newt, though. Newt I like no, him. He's no Harry Potter. Uh, no. He, he really, they, they give him a little pat on the back for being awesome. Couldn't have done it without you, Newt, at the end of this film. And I was like, mm, yeah, you actually kind of could have done it without him. Uh, Not 100%. necessarily, Joe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could have done it. Uh, he actually. What does he do? He, he saves his brother. Is what he does. In well, he film. saved the twin uh, creature. I guess. Sure. <laughs> and if you want to talk about it's Fantastic Beasts <laughs> in your Fantastic Beast film, uh, there there really are none. Uh, there's one new creature. Uh, that they tie the whole film around because they're like, "Fuck, we gotta ri we gotta write in a Fantastic Beast of some sort." So they have this majestic creature that is the purest of all purest creatures, and it will determine who is voted what in. What was it called? I kept lead. thinking it was like Chitlins. Chitlins. Sure, we'll call Chitlins. it a Chitlin. Chitlins. Chitlins. <laughs> and uh, the Chitlins will select the leader <laughs> yes. of uh, the magic world. And uh, so, honestly, um, except for ma the third act where we get a confrontation that I've been waiting for, for so many films, and frankly, this franchise is like a cold, wet, uh, you know, f I don't know, fart. Bug, no, because cold blanket. farts are funny. Yeah. Like yeah. this, this isn't even funny. It's, uh, you know, it tried. <laughs> it tried to do the thing. We get the final confrontation, but it's it's no Voldemort slash versus Potter, um, and it's kind of resolved. And I don't I don't understand where we, they could take the next two films. And I would be even less excited. Than I was for this one, which was a pretty low excitement. Um, but do, yeah, do we, do we need five films to capture fucking <laughs> Grindelwald? I know, right? Oh, he's gotta not even, God damn it! <laughs> not even that great of a villain. Uh, he looks quite a bit different in this hmm. film. From uh, why is that? Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it is as if uh, WB has decided to. Uh, replace Johnny Depp because it's of magic. the liar Amber Heard. Well, first, well, now we got Well, first he was. Which, by the way, the there's a, they're they're uh, televising that court, and there's oh, just God. some fucking bomb. She's like abusive to her assistant. Yeah, it's, it's I a, saw that too. The, the, it oh, just sorry. sucks for Johnny, who like is no longer a part of this. Uh, we explained by magic because he was Colin Farrell and then he <laughs> transformed into. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. Well, it's cool. Ezra Miller will be gone next time because that guy's a psycho. Oh, apparently. he's going to be gone. Yeah, so everyone's going to be well, gone. Well, they kind of explained it here too. Yeah, oh, they were yeah. like, "Oh, fuck, so. we got to get." Rid he's of different him. looking now. That was already going to happen, but he, they have an excuse to get rid of Ezra Miller. We'll talk about that in the spoiler mm -hmm. section. Um, but yeah, it just. Um, it was flat, mostly flat, until that uh, there's a sequence uh, that does include uh, uh, when they get to the creatures, again, there's a whole dungeon-like prison with some fucking crab scorpions. Hell and yeah. I was like, damn, this is dark. This is gross. This is cool. This is not for kids. This is Fantastic Beasts, and that shit was not yeah, for kids. Like this, this like, seriously, like, as a I warning, this is not a movie to take little kids to. Uh, all, like, if you read any other reviews on the internet, like, children are crying in the first 30 minutes of this movie. It is savage. Like, worse than Bambi Savage. Yeah, with uh, the creatures <laughs> yeah. and stuff, yeah. They're getting um, slaughtered for no reason. Yeah, uh, in order to, <laughs> I don't know, pull at the heartstrings of adults, uh, really manipulating adults yeah. with the little cute things yeah. dying. Um, really uh, low, <laughs> manipulative. But anyways, uh, yeah, so what did you guys think of the film? I feel the same way. Like, in the, in the beginning, it was kind of boring me. Dude, I, was I, was like, I was honestly trying to stay away. So I'm like, oh, my God. I happen to like, look over, and OJ's like, 
Oh my God! I was like, no really? Do we need like, to do this? And like, it started picking up a little that, bit. So. It started picking up a little bit, but yeah. then they try to get you with the oh, now we're at Hogwarts. So you're they telling me, Joe, Hogwarts. that of all three of us, you were the biggest Harry Potter fan, and you were the one who fallen asleep? In the it was it was slow. It, Can it, you blame me? It was no, I don't, I don't blame you at all. I don't blame you at all. Yeah, um, they try to get you with the little oh, we're back at Hogwarts, and then you get the jingles and everything. Look. They, they do return to Hogwarts. It's as if she feels like she always has to go back there in order to try to pluck some of the magic back, and it's just not happening. Uh, maybe the reason why you were falling asleep is, boy, is it exposition dump heavy yes. in the beginning. It's like at one point a character literally goes, I am I think it was Jacob. He's like, I am Jacob, and I am this and this and this and this. Like, he's literally explaining his character and where his character like we, is yeah, at this like, point in the you story. You don't need that, Jacob. I like you I from mean, the first film. You don't need to do all this stuff. And, like, the main story, I don't really give a shit about. Mm -mm. I don't. No, the Gr versus Grimwald, is that one? Or Newt's? Yeah, Dumbledore Newt. and uh, yeah, Grimwald. Dumbledore and Grimwald. I, that yeah. plot, I was like, that's the main plot. I was like, I don't really care. And it is long, Joe. Yeah, show me more of the creatures, more it's of the, the other hours, stuff. But Two and a half hours? Yeah, God, yeah, my girl stormed out of there because <laughs> she was ready to leave. I asked her, are you mad? <laughs> no, I was movie. ready to leave. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think this movie is. I don't think it's great. Uh, it, it doesn't have any focus on the animals. The animals are complete and total afterthought. This director also hates color. All of his movies are, yes. are black, Stark. white, gray, yeah. and you yeah. you expect to see you know Fantastic Beasts. The Fantastic Beasts aren't in this movie. This movie is not again like if you bring young children, they're going to be upset. Like there's animals getting violently murdered, animals getting real ritualistically killed. Uh, and so you can play, again. so you can play in their blood, like seriously. And I'm not making this up. This movie is not for children, and it's not for people with fucking brains because this is. It has all the worst parts of children's movie where like the bad guys can kill the good guys, and they try to kill the good guys, but then they, you know, they don't. They're like, I'm gonna put you in this dungeon where a scorpion's gonna eat you over the course of nine days. Oh no, you escaped in the nine day suicide like timer that we did. It's it's like that. At the very end of the movie, they they stun the guy in the back of the head, and they could have just killed him. But they don't. And it's constantly like that. So you can't think about this movie at all. No. So it's not for thinking grown adults. It's not for Harry Potter fans. And it's certainly not for children. Who the fuck is this for? Uh, people who want to return to the world and they want to be entertained. But it's so not a return. I want yeah, to yeah, return. Like, they want to be entertained. But it didn't get me. Uh, it didn't get me. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, they really do make uh, magic users and wizards look dumb as fuck yeah. because this is a film about politics and the politics of Grinwald sort of sliming his way to the top, even though, hello, did you do you, would, you know what he did in the past two films? Is he does he are, you know, deserve to be, <laughs> you know, no, they put said on it's trial. Okay. No, it's no, fine. It's a fine. You know, that it's kind of thing. And then he's, you it's know. Fine. It's all the incest. And it's, it, there's literally a moment where they're just the standard wizard population is like, let's attack the muggles. Let's fucking mm -hmm. kill the muggles. And then literally maybe f a minute and 32 <laughs> seconds later, they're like, yeah, let's not attack. Like, oh, I'm sorry, man. I just got Peace caught up in the ride. Yo, man. Yo, we started yelling. Ride, you man. start yelling. And we I fire, got excited. They fire off sorry. fireworks in the color of the person they want to vote for or whatever. I was like, oh, my God. This is so stupid. You are, it's you, like you, everyone it makes... giving a gun just shooting up in the air. <laughs> yeah. <but> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, well, they're trying to look <laughs> stupider than normal muggles. And I thought wizards were like individual badasses. Oh, no. Studious. It's all the purebloods trying yeah. to mate with only purebloods. There's not a lot of genetic diversity after a couple hundred years. Honestly, the fucking wizarding world sucks, dude. It's fucking yeah. like fascist garbage. I don't fucking... Like, how could they... I, I don't see any redeeming. I mean, the muggles are the good guys, I guess. Well, they also, so I, I did some quick Googling, Not and there's only like a like million that. people within the wizard right, community. Right, only our quirky, our quirky cast of misfits who is the only, like, this is the greatest threat. Grimwald is like the greatest threat, and they don't do anything. Mm. In fact, the movie is so muddled about what the ministry and people in charge are going to do about threats 
that it becomes confused and the, the guy, you're, you're like, oh, well, we got Newt's brother in the last film, so all oh, the ministry's on our side. is going to be fucking awesome. No, it, it, it's like the opposite of that. It's like they forget. I, I don't know. We'll have it's to talk why, about yeah, it Yeah, like all the ministry, like they're yeah. all there Awful. in the, the dining hall, and he just walks in like, I guess they... The guy who did a whole bunch of fucking terrible shit. We're trying not to do too much spoilers here. So let's let's go ahead mm. and... Okay, so let's, let's talk about it some more. So what do you feel about the resolutions? Because all this There was no had, resolution. Yes, it did. It had the resolution of Grimwald and... and uh, Gris- we were in exactly Fuck. the Grimwald. same position. Dumbled, like dull. The exactly yeah, same position right. as we are at the end you're of right. the last movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nothing has changed. They I, still haven't got him. Yeah. They didn't get him. So Two more movies. He's free. They got him. <laughs> He's like, no trial for him. Why? Just because yeah. I said so. And you know what's funny is uh, Newt's girlfriend uh, in the last film, they're like, hey, where's your, where's the girl? She can help us. And uh, uh, She's busy. Uh, excuse me? The greatest threat here, and, and she's busy just at work? She's just gonna, doing work? She's like literally at work. She's at her desk. She's at work. She's 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 and it's work? not like they couldn't get the actress back because the actress you know, is in the she film. She didn't have any paid time off. <laughs> Man, like they, work, they haven't the unionized yet. Yeah, it's too, it's too like, early, man. They need a union. Yeah, um, seriously. So we have a returning cast of our characters. We have uh, Jacob and uh, his girlfriend, Je- uh, Jeannie? Queenie. Queenie. Yeah. And honestly, that uh, that was so stupid. You could tell that they did that bait thing at the end of the last one. Oh, Jeannie is now evil. And she's joy. I was like, uh, that's going fucking nowhere. Yeah. Right? That ends unsatisfactory. Right? Um, and what else? Newt, Newt, like I said, he barely has anything to do in Credence. the film. His brother barely has anything to do in the film. They introduce a new character, Dumbledore's brother, who barely has anything to do in the film. But well, we and need him for a certain For aspect. a certain thing that, that you know, Just to write that obviously <laughs> Dumbledore cannot directly confront, uh, you know, Grimwald because they have this uh, love bracelet. Truce. Truce of, of binded. And if they move against each other, then this little bracelet squeezes him and, and kills, kills him. tries to kill him. Um, yeah. What it does to Grimwald if Grimwald moves against Dumbledore, I don't know. Does it fly like, off? Even if you have like thoughts and stuff like that, and, right, of killing him. Yeah. Can you imagine having a bad dream and then all the- <laughs> but I was just gonna say, like, if he has, he'd be like, "I'm not touching you." you like, <laughs> you're like, God, I'm I'm over, like punch if you, you. <laughs> if you move into me, it's it's not me hitting <laughs> I you. I want to oh punch you so bad. Uh, so yeah, just some really flat characters. With uh, the, the film really kind of ends, uh, you know, where where we started at the beginning. Uh, but at least a lot of this stuff is out in the open, and nobody will maybe, maybe nobody will take Grimwald seriously going forward, and he'll be even more evil. No, there wasn't a necromancer. Well, like I get it's on the like. it's on the title, the Secret oh. of Dumbledore. But I wanted to see more Fantastic Beasts. They should have leaned more heavily on that yeah. aspect. As, but but they can't as opposed to the secrets, time, it, they can't if they set up this whole Dumbledore Grimwald showdown. I mean, I'm I'm not really sure how they could do it other than the way I'm they not, did it, it was, here. Well, new, but that was the wrong move. It's like nobody gives a shit about this, and why are we having yeah, five that's how movies I feel. about this thing? Well, I mean, maybe we should have watched the Chinese version because they probably would have cut out the first part of the film, the middle, part, middle, of the middle film. part of the film. Oh, and pretty much all of, the, of the climax <laughs> of the film because uh, they're so homophobic over there that they can't handle the fact that uh, these two are gay lovers. Conceivable. <laughs> And there was no way, I guess, WB said, hit hit the gas, uh, you know, let's stop hiding. Because in the fir- it seemed like in the first film they were kind of hiding it or inferring it, not being outward. But they're outward in this one, so it's going to get edited to hell in China. I was surprised by that. I was like, why even release in China? I was, I was like, this isn't money. Disney, is it? <laughs> what? Money. Well, yeah, money. I, I, I don't know. Does Harry Potter do well in China? I, I suppose. No, uh, but it was a disappointment for me. It, uh, it was really not that great of a film. Um, yeah, I agree with that. It's just like average, if that, in I gotta some say, parts. But. Yeah, and then uh, Ezra Miller's character. Let's talk about his resolution. Obviously, he was set up in, in these previous films as a powerful badass. Did did you enjoy the the resolution there? Did you think you, you kind of go the way you thought fell it flat. would? Fell flat. Fell flat as well. Yeah. A lot uh, of this movie fell flat, unfortunately. Yeah, a lot of build up for a lot of whole no- nothing. So let's go to final verdicts then. 
Okay, you go first, Alex. Um, um, I think that we have. We I mean, we have we have flat characters. We have a meandering yeah. story that's a little nonsensical. There's a lot of characters, and there's there's li- these little side stories and side missions that literally have no consequence and it's written into the story. So it doesn't matter if they make sense or not because they're like, oh no, it's part of the thing. It's supposed to not make sense, and it just we, we're wasting time. Uh, Newt is a completely and totally wasted character. It would make so much more sense if Newt was used like w- was used for his powers, right? Where he is this the most famous zoologist, and he's using animals in cool, interesting yes. ways. And we start off in that way where he has some animal stuff help him out, and then he completely forgets that he has this all of these well, animals briefcase. to do do all sorts of really cool I things take with. Take the briefcase away from him. Yeah, it's like do you uh, do you have a cool thing you can fly up this mountain with? Do you yes. have like an armored thing that you can climb on the back? And <laughs> yes. do you have something that's like he doesn't use his like he just forgets. That he has animals. Like, this is not a Fantastic Beast movie. This is a the politics of pre-World War II Harry Potter, and it's gray, and it's dull, and the characters are gray, and it's dull. But if you love the cat crab rave, then you'll love oh, yeah. the, actually, what he does, the only, Newt, what Newt does. <laughs> the the only part of the f- film that I probably <laughs> I said I enjoyed. At, I laughed at I, 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 I want to see it, some more of that. The, the, the crab scorpion. It was anyway. good. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's a good movie for children because I think that you know the, the violent murder violent. of baby animals to play in their blood is probably not something that your kids want to see. If you're a grown-up that likes to think when you go to movies, you're going to hate it because the bad guys can kill everyone at any given time and they just choose not to. It is. It's if you like pretty colors and lights of wizards throwing spells at each other, there's maybe. like there's, there's two three minutes that you may there's like for this thing. Like there wasn't enough of that. Yeah, until the very end. So I think that I, this is average at best. Yeah. If you are really into Harry Potter, and if you are not super into Harry Potter, you're not in Fantastic Beasts. This is a below average movie. I think this is better than number two, but that is saying very oh, little. Oh yeah, geez, um, I don't even remember what we gave number two. I don't remember that <laughs> either. But yeah, That's would, that that is the uh, you could take that. As as the tagline for the Fantastic Beasts franchise, I, I don't, I don't really remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas yeah. Harry Potter, I remember. You yeah, know I, rem- I, mean? I still remember all of those movies, and this one. Mm. So what, what, what would you give it? Yeah, he said a five. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think this is a, I think this is an average movie. I can see that. I, l- I like how they kind of went back to uh, Hogwarts for a bit. They got my nostalgia feels, but I wanted to see more uh, Fantastic Beasts, do something with that. But instead, we get this. Okay, well these uh, are well. He's fucking evil. He doesn't like muggles. So I'm gonna kill him. Mm. Why should we let him go free? Well, I did, I don't uh, know why. Why? <laughs> it's like wait. Why did they do that? We're yeah. gonna kill him slowly later on with scorpion crabs. No, I'm talking about uh, Grin Grinwald. Why did you skip skip the trial? Oh oh yeah, because because you don't have a movie otherwise. Uh wait wait. Okay, so we'll talk about that in spoilers. We're still doing the final verdict. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was just so stupid the way he just gets away yeah, with everything. And well, you just spoiled everything. No, we talked yeah. about that earlier. We did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we wouldn't have we a movie. Touched on well, it. Well, we wouldn't have people... a movie if if he was in, in jail. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. obviously, uh, it's just a whole bunch of hand waves. Mm-hmm. There's too much of that aspect and like the political bullshit. I was like, okay, I don't care. I'm here to go see. The wonderful wizarding world, but yeah. I didn't really get that. Yeah, five, five. Okay. Um, and Alex was four. Five. 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 Uh, it's difficult because I definitely like the film better than the Crimes of Grind Grindwald. Uh, but that's not saying much because I didn't really enjoy that one too much. I think it got like half of the things right. I mean, this is better in in some ways. In in the third act, I think the the uh, scorpion sequence, and that's kind of it. I guess if Dumble, if you like, want to see a powerful Dumbledore, then you kind of are like, all right, I'll get a little bit of that. So actually, maybe it's not all that much better than than the last one. I don't. I honestly don't remember. They could have trimmed the last a lot. Film. They could have um, trimmed a lot of fat. Yeah. And, yeah, definitely. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and give it a, a five. And I think I'm being generous, uh, you know, with this one. So an average film, one that you do not have to rush out and see. Like, okay. if you want to be a Harry Potter and a J.K. Rowling completionist, uh, then at some point see it. Uh, but I would wait until this is on VOD or Netflix, whatever, uh, because yeah. – or whatever, you know, HBO Max or something like that because – you're really not missing a whole lot. Whatever you think would happen, in a, it pretty much happens. Um, so, yeah, 
Uh, that's Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, uh, worst kept secret ever, and <laughs> uh, you know you see everything coming from a mile away. So, but there yeah. is some wizard battles right at the end. All right, and um, if you want to stick around for spoilers, uh, we'll see you there. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. All right, welcome to the spoiler section. So how does he finally, we all know he cannot move against him because Dumbledore is so powerful. Everybody's like, this is so fucking stupid. Dumbledore, just attack him and you're the greatest wizard ever. You would kill him. No, the we have to come up with charm. a plot contrivance that we can't. Okay, so I love him. He loves me. And we made this pact a long time ago that we're going to change the world. Well, how does he finally get around this device he doesn't get around it they just they make up a an asterisk and they, it's a completely uns so what happens is grindenwald wants to kill dumbledore's nephew Credence? Blah! Credence? and no, then no. dumbledore goes no i'm gonna save my nephew blah which is moving against him um and then he's just yes. says, it doesn't count it doesn't make any fucking sense no hey, do this whole this whole fucking franchise has been about I cannot do this, so I'm going to use Nude and I'm going to nude all these people to move against him. And then you literally move against him. I guess there's actually two beams. So you get the green beam, Grinwald beam, and he gets hit by Dumbledore's beam. But oh no, there's a second beam that hits, and it's his brother. His brother's character, because I wrote this character in, and fuck, I need him to do something, and he's just as powerful. And I was thinking maybe. By that explanation, that yes, you made an you made a pact with that Dumbledore, but you didn't make a pact with this Dumbledore. So maybe I was thinking that they would talk about that or something. No, they they literally just said I was I was protecting. Like he was attacking. He was, like, he, was atta he was attacking, and I was protecting. He attacked and protect. Well, he so that's not but going. Like to... the, but well, he's been I, doing that the whole fucking time. Well, I guess he attacked the Dumbledore. Cons Credence is Dumbledore. No, yeah, no, no, because it, okay. it's not. It's 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 Albus. You, you don't use the word Dumbledore. I don't it's, give a it's, fuck. It's it's, it's Grindelwald it, it, versus it, Albus. It, so the whole thing in the film, where he moves it's against your him, blood is me. And uh, and like I said before, uh, you you've got these uh, dumb wizards. I mean, these are supposed to be fucking adults uh, and, and studied, intelligent, uh, fucking, -uh. you know, cool with with these all these powers, and they are. A mob mentality. Let's kill all humans. Nah, let's not kill all humans. And it's just so <laughs> stupid. They get caught up in the moment. It's like, oh, sorry, I, that was a riot. It's like going to a sporting <laughs> event, <laughs> like a Jets game. Yeah. You're like, no one in the right mind would ever uh, root for the Jets. But if you're there, you're like, yeah, I guess yeah, if they if they ever did something right, but they don't. And I don't like this whole. <laughs> I hate it when movies do this. Like, oh, this animal is like so pure of heart. It's like better than all other animals. So this animal is like the better, best, best animal. And if it likes you, then you, you're the one to lead everybody, and everybody just goes along with it. You know, I just hate that stuff. I it's thought it was going to so bow to fine. Jacob. So and here's another too, thing. It I bows. Saw him image. Mm -hmm. it, it bows to uh, dumb. Well, first the undead, because literally Alex is so right. There's not for children. The, the, there's a Bambi situation in the beginning. Bambi's of the mom dies. <laughs> dies. Fucking mother is gruesomely, mur horribly murdered. <laughs> And then the babies are running away. Uh, he's running away with the babies, jumps off the cliff, slams into the fucking uh, water. The baby's all drowning and shit. And, and they come and they take the baby away. Uh, and, but, and, and then later on, they take the baby to the villain. Well, the mother slowly dies mother as New lies dies. against it. And he's and so sad that she's sorry. dying. I'm sorry. And you see little and, Yeah. And it's just oh, like by the way, you had tw she by the way, you have twins. She notices the twin. And the fucking uh, it starts, crying, starts as it crying and dies as it cries. That it, it, it's fucking rough. I'm like, all right. So, <sighs> so then it's not it's like, over. <laughs> not over. And then they give the baby to the, uh, you know, Grimwald. And he's like, oh, look at the baby. And then fucking cuts he its slits neck, its throat. Slits its and then that's the blood pool. He starts laying out the, the blood and he starts like playing, uh, playing in it. And he's like, oh, cool. I can see uh, the future now. It's like, what the fuck <laughs> is this? Do we need to go this direction? I get it. He's dark. I get it. He's evil. But OK, fine. Uh, later on in the film, he's in a pool. Uh, he's in a pool of water, but it's basically a pool of blood. Uh, 
the suddenly the creature's back when he fucking cut its throat. You don't you don't really get that. He's a deer necromancer, but he's a yes. necromancer, so he continues to <laughs> kill it and 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 raise it from the dead and kill it again. And he does it in another scene, so I don't know. He can see some more shit. You can see the the muggle uh, try to assassinate him, which I guess was a cool scene with the special effects. Uh, afterwards, this new character. This wi- uh, this witch shows up and she's like the best defensive witch, so she helps Jacob out. Uh, but I didn't understand what the point in giving him a wand was. If it's to muggles, set him up as a patsy, muggles can't as a, just as a patsy. Yeah, he yeah needs, they need. Muggles can't really use magic, so Hermione when he goes to like ex- assassinate him, how's he the assassin? <laughs> well, he was like thre- he was threatening him, but he wasn't there to assassinate him. They're, and then they it's able to be a distraction because a distraction for from the real assassination because they were going to kill the real. Uh, Santos. San- no, that's not right. Yeah, no. was it well, Santos? Yeah, because she was drinking from that. Okay, I don't thing. understand why they're creating a, a distraction at that point. So they she was about to drink be- poison, and then the the charms lady lifts up the poison and throws it against the wall, and then yeah. then there's a big commotion, and then she's like, she needs a distraction to distract everyone, and so why? she puts because I don't know. No, we save the cup, we throw the poison, and we're fine. That's all you need to do, but I don't understand the plot. Uh, to me, it just seemed Jacob got upset because fucking, you know, Queenie, Queenie is yes. not paying attention to him, and he's and he doesn't want Queenie to be prisoner, so he just gets up and goes over there and thinks he's going to take on Grimwald, I guess. Gr- Grim- Grimwald. Yeah. So, uh, okay, stupid, but it leads to cool special effects, and they get out of there. But uh, as a consequence of Jacob's dumb action, uh, Newt's brother gets captured by... Uh, the bad guys. The good yet, guys. No, he got, tra- he, he got captured the earlier. Mim is, mm, the oh, good guys? He got captured earlier, right? No, I thought in the commotion. Uh, they yeah, get, there's uh, during. Maybe they get, get, get. Whatever. It's confusing. It happens in that scene somewhere. Yeah, it, it's confusing because I thought he was from the ministry and he has backup from the ministry. But then it later turns out that they arrest him as if they're the ministry. I don't get it. He's the ministry in England, and they're in Germany, and it's a different ministry. Is that what? And he's and he's officially not supposed to be there. I understand the Wizarding World. It's not really explained very well, or if it is, it's I was I didn't give a fucking shit. They threw him Uh, in a scorpion dungeon to die slowly over the course of four days. And uh, but they don't check with the London office to see I don't know uh, where did he come from. Too much from? paperwork. Is he a good guy? We don't want to do paperwork. No. Uh, he's also a minister. I I don't understand. So I what I thought is that Grimald had infiltrated all of the ministry, and so that's how it was able to come about. And uh, it turns out because no later on Dumbledore says they've man, they've brought back this prison in the ministry, and uh, it's the ministry's I don't know what does he say bed and breakfast or something. Um, and it's really a dungeon filled with uh, crab uh, uh, scorpion creatures, which was a highlight of the film because he get later. Uh, obviously, Newt goes to save his brother, and uh, and he's got to walk like a crab, and then he gyrates his body like real sexy like, <laughs> and then everybody in the theater was laughing. He was laughing while was the laughing uh, like so three, four yeah, I laugh. innocent people fun. were uh, they got impaled by yeah. a scorpion, yes. covered in acid, and it then dismembered and, and fed to. So again, kids yeah. movie. The uh, tone is a little off there. Yeah, there's people uh, that are like, hung upside down. Shit. laughing while dudes are literally, like in the most brutal way, the yeah. fucking pincer as big as Alex slams into. Uh, you the, don't want that. Uh, and then <laughs> fl- flies down the hole and literally gets regurgitated. The body parts get regurgitated Sass. back up. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, wow, I didn't expect them to go there. Um, but it does create some tension to the scene, and I liked it. So that was the one scene. Best part of the movie. Yeah, best part of the movie is a side plot that Newt uh, has nothing to do with Grim, you know, Grimwald or whatever. Just saves, and that's the only time he really does something. Now, yes, Newt is a part of the uh, card trick, the clams. You know, uh, we're gonna duplicate the five uh, cases. We're gonna put the little uh, creature in one of the case, and we're gonna take it to the fucking. Location. I mean, these are wizards that literally could just teleport wherever they want, but okay. All right, so we're going to do this. And so they're walking, and the guys in trench coats with their pop collars and their fedoras are chasing them. And, oh, we open it. Oh, that wasn't the one. And, oh, it wasn't the one. And then a little more, a little wizard battle. Again, I say there are some wizard battles here, so you're probably satisfied with the wizard battle stuff. 
Um, and it turns out that uh, Newt is the one, right, that, that supposedly has it. But the last lady is there at the steps. No, you cannot go up the steps. I will walk it to you. And then she literally takes it from his hand. It's going to be such a fucking pushover. It's like He's doesn't strong do lady. Anything like, about no. it. It's like, oh, this is basically uh, the end of my world and the end of the muggle world. So, yeah, I guess I'll just. Uh, no, I get shot from the back. But only stunned. Stunned. And they don't even pick him up. They just leave him there on the ground to get right back up <laughs> 10 seconds later. Correct. Because if they would have, uh, I don't know, put him to jail or just picked him up. Held his arm and just be like, you, you can't, you can't. You can't. Go. Uh, he gets up and he does. So I guess he does save the day because they're like, "Oh fuck, uh, Newt has nothing to do." Like Joe said. Oh no, no, actually he does. He runs up the steps and and grabs it away from the lady. Uh, but it's too late. Uh, he actually still does nothing because she fucking casts a spell on the case that it dematerializes in his hands, and he's like, "No." Yeah. Uh, but it turns out that if you are paying attention. Uh, we have five different boxes, and they really only showed four of them. And then the fifth box is uh, Newt's assistant, and she comes up. She was this lady dressed in black that you thought maybe was an evil witch that was following them or something. But uh, she's revealed as, hey, I'm here, and I'm here. I'm with the creature. And that creature there is a necromancy. You can tell. Undead. The thing looks it's fucking literally pale black. as yeah. fuck. <laughs> Everybody's about like, to yeah! die. It was Pit about to die. Pit undead. It was bewitched. Yeah. So it's stupid. like, there's something wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, this, uh, this one comes out. And everybody's like, uh, oh. They're like, no, this is the real one. They bring <laughs> and, you bring, and it conveniently does. So this whole movie is super convenient. Like, you have to the be is so really bad. dumb. Because the, they only bewitched it for 30 seconds or something. Because the undead one's like, no, this is the real one. And, and he picks up dead. the undead. And then the, the spell ends. And everyone's like, oh. <laughs> mm. Also, they're like, hey, you can't tell that something's bewitched. Like, none of you, the most powerful wizards in the whole world, can't you can't tell stuff. Yeah. And at that point, why don't the ministry go arrest Grimwald right then and there, do something? Oh, no, you uh, can't. Everybody just stands around in this film. The Wizarding World is so weird. Yeah, it's they so kept weak. going after them, then after this I happens, don't understand did it. they just switch sides again? Yeah, because they're, they're, they went from like murder to, oh, I murder, maybe, maybe no, not murder. Slow, stale, flat. I think that's why it feels this way, because it's like there's they're no agency for anything. It doesn't lane, feel man. like Voldemort. Pick a side. I don't know who the fuck you're with. Yeah. Who, who are you with? This guy's like, oh, no, that is a, that is a lie. <laughs> so what? Oh, yeah, you're still going to convince people to murder the entire human world. Uh, while people but are they convince convinced, them. they're <laughs> screaming, yes, let's fucking destroy yeah, all the humans. It starts now. He's and fucking he killing <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> he curses, yeah, he, he he curses like, him. This yeah. innocent guy <laughs> and all the wizards in the wizarding world is like, fuck, yeah, it's on live television. This most horrible fucking yeah. curse. <laughs> what did this random guy fucking do? He's a like, muggle. He's a muggle. These are racist fucking fucks. Yes. Like the yeah. wizarding world are filled with they Nazis, fascist Nazis. That's their whole thing. Yeah. What the fuck? They don't yeah. want. So taint. you're telling me all this thing. I wish <laughs> I was a fucking. I wish I was in Harry Potter and I could go well, to the I magic to, I, school and be. And then once you are done being a kid and you grow up, you go to that fucking world. Well, if you fuck mix, that shit. well, if you mix, you're gonna get made fun of like Hermione did. Mm, yeah, she I was. See. A, she was in pure blood. <laughs> That's oh why they hated God. her. Man, fuck <laughs> the wizarding world. And they're so fucking stupid. And that, you know, I guess that's why you know you don't you don't feel the magic because uh, you're like I don't want to be in this world. <laughs> who, are the, who are the good guys? They're so stupid. I don't um, even know anymore. <laughs> so yeah, he curses Jacob, and Jacob was just gonna die, and nobody bothers to reverse the curse except for the Everyone. random yellow lady. We know nothing about this yellow lady. Randomly, she goes, "Whoop!" She's a candidate. She's the most important person in the wizard world because she becomes the president of president of the International Coalition of Wizards. She says what two things? Yeah. And and it could have been Dumbledore, it could have been any of the wizards we know, but no, it's her because I like later Dumbledore's on, just standing there, just like looking. He's like, "Man, <laughs> uh, that looks oh, like a hearse, Jacob." Man, I'm sorry. I know I'm real powerful curse. and shit, but 
He literally tells him, hey, man, I'm sorry you got hit with that curse. Why didn't the fuck you do anything he about it? He only would intervene if it was Credence. That's why. It's like, oh. It's not my, no. Because it would account as him fighting him if he tried to undo his curse, Family, right? Family, Joe, blood. Oh. More exactly. blood. Protect the bloodline. Oh, my God. What? Again, I honestly, I honestly think. J.K. Rowling, what's going on here? I honestly think they were all just standing there. Eh, he's a muggle anyway. Yeah, <laughs> like, Damn, guys. <laughs> this is fucking racist ass <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> fuck this. All right, we're obviously giving the film shit now, and it kind of deserves it. It definitely it's, does. Uh, it does. You know, like, some what good, the fuck? good wizarding action scenes, but when the story around it is is not that great, and you don't feel the stakes, you don't feel the tension, you don't really f- care about the characters, it, it's telling to me that the emotional crux of the film and and what they they really lean hard on is Jacob and 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 Queenie getting married at the end, and it's a happy ending, and you know because. The relationship and the sadness between Dumbledore any of them, and like, Grim- I didn't feel Grimmel any, doesn't work. Why didn't feel any chemistry between any of the no. team? Like, no, it exactly. was gone. What about the exactly. spy guy? Did, you didn't like the spy guy that was there? Which one's the spy guy? The, oh, the guy who took off the memories of his sister because Grim- Well, <laughs> I know. And again, this is a character <laughs> that's like, like... Oh, shit, I forgot about yeah, you. Yeah, he was you in the last from? film. He had a... Like, point. Oh, it was kind of pointless there. there. Like, oh, look at him. Whoa, shit, that guy. Where'd you did come you, from? Did anybody believe that he was going to betray Dumbledore? <laughs> it's so stupid. It's like, surprise. I was going to be the way, a traitor and a traitor. Did anybody, did anybody replace the memories of his sister? No. <laughs> He's like, hey, man. I'm sorry about your sister. Who? Yeah. <laughs> Still fucking Dumb, tell him. Don't, don't Peter Pan's got kids. Don't, don't he's better him. off that way, <laughs> not knowing that he has a sister. Because that—that is—that's literally what happens. So yeah. Oh my god. He's um, so mad at Grinball. Unless I wasn't paying attention in the last film, and he didn't actually have a sister, and it was a big trick. But no, that's not. No, that's not the no. thing. It's <laughs> Queenie. He's like, yeah, no, he's telling the truth. Just. I, I and Queenie you. is such a stupid about face. Like it was dumb when she joined them, and then it was dumb when she joined back. It, it's like so contrived, so uh, trite. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying. Like fucking pick a lane. The ministry. I don't know what the fuck you're trying to do. Like, Manipulate the audience. Uh, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> Show me Hogwarts, and you get two more, uh, two extra points on uh, Metacritic. Then, yeah, that's that's what <laughs> happened. And honestly, now that you said that, I had to look it up. Tomato meter is fifty two percent. The audience score eighty three percent. Yeah, 83. that's really really low for a Harry Potter thing. So that actually yeah. is a decent. Well, I had to look. I had to actually go back and look at the l- previous one. Thirty six percent. Yeah. The second film audience did not like that one. Fifty four on that one. Yeah. This so audience is always going to be a little higher than the critics. Uh, the first film seventy four percent from critics. And uh, 79% from audiences. So they kind of agreed on that one. Uh, but this one, eh, for me, it's a disappointment. Other than the, the scorpion crab and some of the wizard battles. Uh, but I can get that in the upcoming video game. And I can make my own wizard. Dude, so. my man Dumbledore did duel Grindelwald with the Elder Wand. And like kind of beat him down to a stalemate. That's impressive <laughs> as fuck. There you go. Uh, say say that again. Gr- Grindelwald has the Elder Wand, the most powerful wand in right. the whole Why wizard world. Why didn't he kick his ass? Which, that, that's how powerful Dumbledore is. Why didn't he kick his ass? Why didn't Grindelwald kick his ass? No, Dumbledore. Because Grindelwald, Grindelwald, Grindelwald has the Elder Wand. Oh, okay. That's who I thought you said uh, Dumbledore yeah. had it. Okay. So like that's no. how powerful Dumbledore is. It's like, yeah, oh, my and, God. And it's true. And, and another thing uh, that's kind of cool about the film is you get this big baddie, uh, Ezra Miller, from the previous films. And he's like got the, he's got this new power, right? He's a particular – I forget the name for this particular type. A plot of device. Wizards. Yeah, plot device wizard. And he straight up attacks Dumbledore. It's like, when are they gonna? When is he gonna attack him? Is he gonna attack him in this film? No, he's not gonna attack him. In the, he's gonna attack him in this film. <laughs> Finally, get the attack, and he whoops his ass. Like he, he literally has no choice or no chance. Yeah, Dumbledore. Dumbledore. I, I think Dumbledore threw a spell at him through a, a snowflake. Did I get that right? You hit him in the eye. Of, it was like a piece it's of like, rain was falling, and then he blew on it, and then it, it the spell ricocheted yeah. off the thing, and it hit him in the thing. And Some it was like, was, it, was that that was like a was that like a fuck you you ain't you ain't shit kind of move, yeah. <laughs> motherfucker? <laughs> and then that's when Ezra Miller went after yeah. him because I'm not sure what happened. There. Was that spell supposed to hurt him or was it spell supposed to taunt him? Know. 
to get him angry. Well, the thing so also, then he we, was ripping up the whole city. But when Wizards fights, I always thought, like, what the fuck? Like, there would be so many people dying in the streets, and other Wizards would get involved. But they have this really clever plot device where anytime they fight, they teleport into a different realm. But the realm is the same realm that they were in, even though they can teleport anywhere to where they could use the environment to their advantage. I don't know, but... Mm. Um, and so he whoops his ass and he says, dude, the guy's lying to you. Not about the fact that you're a Dumbledore, but about the fact that we don't care about you. And you're we didn't know you, you existed. Yeah, you are a Dumbledore. My brother's your But your I dad. wish, I don't know why they don't spell it out. Like, like we didn't know you existed, that kind of thing. They're just like, he's lying to you. You are a Dumbledore, though. That's it. Bye-bye. Then that's it. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, like, it, let's explain a little more. So that he can fully come to your side. I know you want to give him the illusion of, of choice and he will make his... And he's like, that mean old, uh, you know, Grindelwald or whatever his fucking name is. I keep getting it wrong. Um, Grizzlebrand. Yeah, he, he choked me one time because when he, when he was doing one of the necromancy sessions in the pool of blood of this cute creature, uh, he fails him again uh, because there were two of them. Uh, you know, and he gets mad at him and squeezes his neck. Yeah, but he had he could see the future, so he should know all that already. Yeah, I, well, I mean, it, I guess only the third or sixth time you cut the neck of the creature does it show you about its brother or sister creature. Oh, so. oh okay. Yeah. It's only one, one vision at a time, Alex. No, the first <laughs> time you got six, seven visions the first time. It takes like eight hours right. to recharge. Yeah, you the gotta necromancy. Play back in. You just oh, someone's out there with a necromancy. turkey baster sucking up the the dead like baby deer blood off the the cobblestones. There's not a goddamn <laughs> Take your person kids. on this planet that says Fantastic Beasts is a better series, better written, better characters than Harry Potter. No, and it's uh, like average beasts, and uh, don't go and looking for them. And unfortunately, yeah, they're, they're, it's very mixed in, in in this particular secrets. Film. All right, yep. and and so that's basically it. So in public, in front of the entire Wizarding World. Uh, uh, Grimwald is now, uh, you know, thrown. In fact, they even start firing at him. Multiple powerful fucking wizards of all time, and he and he just does a standard bubble spell, I guess. And it, it sure it's cracking. It's and then they fire. And he's like, "I'm not your enemy." And then he falls again, and they start. Firing Was it? And yeah. He escapes. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't care. And then the ministry brother comes up to. Uh, you know, Dumbledore, and he says, get him for me. Just promise me that you'll finish him. And Dumbledore's like, I will. I will murder him. He doesn't say that, but that's... Well, we know he murders him. Eventually, he has to. So we get two more films. Like, we're going to stretch out this murder, two more films. So like, the, 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 <laughs> it's not interesting. That was him at his height. He almost had everything in the big final battle, and he lost. Why are we beating a dead horse? Is unless he gets dead deer. It, unless he's like, all right, fuck this. I want to do necromancy, blood magic. I want to do all the forbidden shit, and I'm gonna be even more powerful while I'm hiding. And then, and and that film would be boring as fuck. And then they'll tease at the end the final battle between Dumbledore and him in the third or the fifth film. And, and then new one will be there. We're gonna do all the and next episode. Stupefy, stupefy, boop, deek, boop. and and then it's over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he'd be like, we, I, he'd be like I loved you. He's like, I loved, I loved you, you too. too. That's like, I'm sorry. Bleh. Yeah. My love. But then he takes the, the elder one. And he gets no, a, it'll be something like, I'll kill you. No, I'm going to kill myself because I still love you. Oh, something probably. like that. All right, guys. That doesn't work because the elder one, you can only use it if you were the you killed the person. So if he kills himself, he can't take the elder one. Dumbledore has to kill him. No, there you Them's go. the Harry Potter rules. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, but Joe, do they it's, even the, pay it's a Harry Potter dark saber, do man. Even, but but do they even pay attention to their own? No. It's J- J.K. Rowling is writing this, so I she probably. Seems, yeah, I don't know. I'm so curious about I that. I no longer uh, want to live in the wizarding world. Well, that's so what this film did, and that sucks because I've always wanted to live in that world. <laughs> oh, you want to be I only want to live in the world where you're going to school, and then when I graduate, I'm going straight back to Earth and our time with the muggles. <laughs> and I'll just hide as a wizard because so I do not want to be in this fucking Nazi Germany. Well, that German. Uh, officer with a bowl haircut. He was just an asshole cop. Yeah, yeah. I guess. <laughs> he gets to go back to work on Monday. Yeah, and is, this just, is this just J.K. It. Rowling saying Germany sucks and the wizards in Germany fucking suck? But no, it's supposed to be controlling the entire wizarding world. Yeah. It wasn't just... It's all the wizards. Ger- right German... 
Well, right. they purposely said this is a couple years before, you know, there was, a, there was some things in Germany missing from this period that you would see everywhere, some symbols that should should have been everywhere. So they said it a couple years beforehand. Oh, that's so right. So there I wouldn't be there. So it's the like, whole World War II thing. So it's like, well, are they going to skip over yeah. World War II for the next two movies, or are we going yes. World War II? Okay, I, I guess that would be the only thing that would be like, okay, Okay, maybe I'll watch it. <laughs> Literally, wizards battling no, in the middle of World Dumbledore War II and Griswold are in Japan, <laughs> and they're fighting, and then and bonsai <laughs> kamikazes and no. nuclear yeah. explosions. Meanwhile, in the African front, uh, yeah. other wizards. Are, okay, I don't know that. That would be kind of cool. Okay, <laughs> that'd be the only way I'd go to the theater again. Well, never going back. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe show. It's gonna <laughs> went way longer than I wanted it to. Bye. Bye, guys.